we're going to do some pre-germination of Kentucky bluegrass and we're going to seed it. So stay tuned because this is going to be a fun episode. Well, welcome back. We are on the second part of repairing Vince's mistake with peat moss. If you saw the first episode of this, I ran out of sod cutter. I cut this all up. The sod cutter didn't work, so I hand cut everything out. I scalped the dirt, got all the peat moss out of it, got rid of it, and now we're ready to get new soil. It's screen top soil and put it down. This, this is pretty compact stuff, so I want to be able to break this up a little bit. That way I'm not just throwing loose dirt on top of the ground. So this is a garden weasel. Got this, these little tines that till up the dirt. Garden weasel, how about it? So you basically take it and you're running over it just like this. No one said it's gonna be easy, but you're tilling it up. You're breaking the, the that surface up that way you're I mean, I'm not really making too much of a dent, but you're loosening it up just a little bit more. That way when the topsoil comes in, it kind of can blend together a little bit better and not just sitting on this concrete area. Last thing I want to do is plant new seed and then the seeds unable to penetrate into the clay underneath. Weasel our way up. We'll get topsoil in. We're going to do some pre-germination of Kentucky bluegrass and we're gonna seed it. So um, so stay tuned, because this is gonna be a fun episode. All right, now it's time to pre-germinate our seed. Pre-germinating your seed is something that's kind of starting to be trendy. Uh, last year, there was a guy uh, who did a couple videos on it and he pre-germinated his grass seed. I think the Lawn Tools did a video on it. But basically, pre-germinating your grass seed means you're just soaking it in water for a couple days. That way, you're speeding up the process of your germination. Normally, you would take your grass seed, you would broadcast spread it out, you'd water it for days and days and days for multiple times a day, keeping that seed moist, that way it germinates. This kind of takes out that whole process in the beginning. So you get a paint strainer. Any big box store has these. Uh, you put your seed, the amount of seed that you want in there, you put that into the paint strainer. Five gallon bucket, grab yourself a hose. That's a hose link, just got the hose link. I really like the hose link, so check that out. Anyway, fill up your, uh, fill up your bucket with water, put a brick or something, or really just make sure that it stays submerged in the water. Um, look at your germination times, Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue, they all have a different germination period. Kentucky bluegrass generally is 10 to 12, 10 to 14 days, somewhere longer than that. This one in particular has a really quick germination period. This is, this is uh, 365SS from Mountain View Seeds, has a quick germination period. So I'm gonna do five days of pre-germinating soaks. Now what this is gonna entail is I fill up the water and then the next day or 12 to 24 hours, you wanna be switching out that water. So you'll pull your seed out, you'll, you'll dump your, your water out, 
you put your seed back in and you water it. Keep a close eye on to it, see if it's germinating or not. And uh, once you start seeing some sprouts is when uh, you know you're good. But uh, five days should be plenty for me. I had pretty quick germination success on this uh, before. I mean, this seed is, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but it is, it is tiny. These, these bluegrass seeds are tiny. But then you think, okay, how am I gonna spread wet grass seed across my lawn? There's a couple different ways, so hang on, let's fill this up and we'll hit those points in a few minutes. So it's floating to the top. So we will carefully, without ripping the bag, all right, well, we're just gonna sit right on top then. We'll put a lid on it, make it official. Here we go. So I'm gonna do a correction. I talked to Mountain View Seeds and they said that you're gonna do 24 hours in the water, then you're gonna do 12 hours out of the water. You can repeat those steps three times, or if it's starting to show uh, like little white fuzzy things, you can take it out of the water and you wanna get it seeded right away. So I soaked for the first 24 hours, I dumped it out. Now we're on the second 24 hour mark of the 365 SS. Oh, that smells. So I have a little bit of a weight to keep that down. Pull this out. Not seeing any signs of any germination or anything, which would be pretty wild if I did. So we're gonna take that out. Take a look at that water. Good old hose link hose reel. Where's my water off? Who turned my water off? All right. I turned the water off. I'm upgrading my main line to three quarter inch. So I don't know if this is necessary or not. But I'm just gonna rinse it. And we will just put this back in the bucket, seal it up for another 12 hours. So tomorrow morning I'll come out, I'll take a look at it, I'll fill it up one more time for 24 hours. And actually at that point, I'm pretty much ready to start seeding anyway. I wanna get this on the ground as quick as possible. We'll tuck this in for good night and I'll show you how I'm gonna spread this. So we had this in the according schedule. We're ready to take it out. It smells horrible. Um, so definitely don't wanna do this in your house. Basically smells like rotting grass. So we're gonna take this out. We're gonna put this in the other container over there and we're gonna mix. So this stuff is Carbon Pro-G. Carbon Pro-G is compost 47%. It's got biochar at 47%. It's got humic acid at 0.12 and total other ingredients. It also has mycorrhizae and some other bacteria in it for helping with germination and just root growth. Get it at site one, let's go. Now this is your carrier. This is what helps get the seed onto the ground. Let's try this. So you just wanna mix it up as best as you can, getting all the seed to be able to attach to some of these prills, there's no fertilizer in it. It's just straight what I mentioned on the label. So you don't have to worry about like over applying. It says like 10 pounds per thousand square feet, which this is more than 10 pounds. What does it dumped in, but 10 to 20 it says. So then you have this nice little mixture this would make great for like a divot repair. You know, for any, even perennial ryegrass, you can just pre-mix some of this stuff and on you go. 
I think that's pretty good. I think that'll spread. Prior to seeding here, I mowed the lawn. I took it down to one inch. I've been running about one and a quarter. Took it down to one inch. I'm gonna probably put some growth regulator on the existing turf. I'm gonna spray part of this with hydrotain and another part I'm not gonna use any hydrotain just to see if there's a difference in my own eyes if hydrochain helps with getting grass to grow quicker, even though I pre-germinated this. Now we're gonna put down the seed. It's nice and level. It rained a bunch. I ran over this with the real mower a good bit. So this isn't gonna sink anymore. Let's get our seed down. I don't know if this is a right or wrong way. I am just going to dump a little in here and use this Scott spreader to spread it. We'll see. I don't know, this thing hit or miss whether it works or not. Let's see if we can get some seed spread. Well, my darn tripod broke. So we're gonna need a new tripod because we gotta get all of this on the YouTubes. That way you believe I did it. And that way you guys can learn, right? This is all about you guys learning and me learning because quite honestly, half the time I don't know what I'm doing. I just have to Google it, research it, look at articles, talk to the awesome lawn community that there is, and we trial it out. Let's see if this does the trick. It's too wet, y'all. It's too wet. We're gonna add more of the carrier. I guess this is why you don't wanna use something like a granular fertilizer. Even if it was like malorganite, it's still fertilizer. You could be running into these issues of it getting clogged and not spreading. And then you have tons of fertilizer that you're putting down. Organic fertilizer at that with like the malorganite. It could be bad. This actually looks much better. Let's see if this spreads any better. And what if I just hand spread it? <laughs> just too wet. I didn't use the turf builder from Scott's. I couldn't use my Earthway. I know Connor just did this and he had his spiker spreader and spread it out. I just think I, I just think it's too wet. I think if I used more medium, let it dry out just, you know, even a couple hours and just kept shaking it, use more medium, I'd be good to go. She's dense. So now we just water, I'm gonna keep it moist. I'm gonna fill in some of these other spots. It's like a patch and I'm just gonna run the whole sprinkler system and we're gonna put down hydrotain from this spot over and then this spot's gonna be nothing. So that's gonna be the test. Hydrotain, no hydrotain. Does it work, doesn't it work? I'm gonna take a real mower, run over this. I don't care, we're gonna get a half inch of water tomorrow, so I'm just gonna get the seed down in there so there's no runoff and call it a day. All right, that's that. I'm gonna get some hydrotain down. I'm gonna get some tenacity down in the bare spots. We're gonna water this and we'll check back in soon. I'll let you know the results. Again, the pre-germination of Kentucky Bluegrass 365 SS. It's gonna look amazing pointing down here because that's where the grass is, not up there. But hey, stay tuned.
appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.